How are you both? Good morning, sir. Body three. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Ron. Coffee time. Oh, good morning, Anne. Wow. How do you feel? I think it's still good because he's watching. Thank you for watching, Anne. Oh, Anne, how are you feeling? What's your feeling? Good morning, Behind yeah. there. Yeah. Let me talk. Can you talk? <laughs> it's so hard for anything. What do you want to talk about your friend? Talk about your friend. Oh yeah. Uh I would like to share about my my close friend is Marlin. Hello to your living partner is Sir Robert Happy, I think he's watching. Good morning. She's dizzy and she has a headache. Yeah. And in the hospital, for those who don't know. I'm going to come help. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> May want to try live, so here we are trying live. But May's a little. Um, were you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous because. Okay. Why are you nervous? Um, because I'm not comfortable for interacting. It's okay for them. For the English. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's okay for the video. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we're trying this out because May's changing her channel around a little bit, and I'm changing mine a whole lot. And today, what we've got going on is um, we're going to be trying to find locations to do a new piece of cover art on my little channel. And actually, I just had a brainstorm this morning. I don't know how big of a brainstorm it was. <laughs> but I want to video the process of finding a place and looking for it and what we're, what we're doing. And then after it's all set up and the channel is a month old or so, maybe show that as a video of looking backwards as to what we were doing when I decided to rebuild my little channel. And then we want to do a couple of shout outs right now. Um, our friend Ann, who's been in a number of our videos, is very popular, uh, is in the hospital. She had a uh, she had a cyst that just sort of like appeared one day, and she had to go in and have surgery the other day. When was that? Yesterday. So we went down yesterday and we visited Ann, and she's doing well. She's recovering. Everything's getting better, and I think she's going to be released on Monday. So I think when she gets out of the hospital, she'll be able to do a vlog on her channel, Anne's Daily Life blog, about being in the hospital and the process and all that. And I think that would be a really informative video for everybody coming out here um, about what it is when you get sick. Speaking of getting sick, what Baby May was wanting to do this morning was kind of give a shout out to her friend Marlon. Yeah. Right? Am yeah. I saying her name right? I always yeah. have a hard time with her name. Marlon. Marlon. And she is the girlfriend and companion of a gentleman named Robert Hattie. And he's a writer, author, inventor. He's a friend of ours. And for, geez. Almost a year now, right? Yeah, getting one year. Getting one year. He's had a stroke, and he's been bedridden for one year. About, I think my timeline's right. I could be wrong. And so, um, she has stayed with him the entire time, 
And when I mean bedridden, I mean bedridden. I don't want to give away too much information about his personal life. But you guys read between the lines on what being bedridden is. And so we go over every blue moon. We should, we should go over more often. I should go over more often and have a conversation with him. And But what May does is she goes over there quite frequently because Marlon doesn't really have a life other than taking care of this gentleman. And I think that's a shout out to the Filipinas and the mm -hmm. Filipino community and how they are. Um, there's a lot of, you know, chicka chicka talk about what happens when things go sideways. The Filipina bails out on the guy and steals all of his money and leaves him high and dry. And while those stories are true and they do happen, there is a flip side to everything. And this flip side is of a very loyal and good and loving Filipina that when her man went down, she didn't run for the hills. She stayed right there. And there's not a lot of money. Uh, she's got control of it. Uh, she just goes, I think, once a month and, and withdraws. I don't tend to know this, but I, I, I think that she's just going down and taking out whatever the daily, I mean, the monthly budget is for their family. And um, and running things. She's not out buying clothes. She's yeah. not out racing around. She's not out on Facebook dating other guys. She's just there with her man and taking good care of him. Yeah. And that was the big shout out that we wanted to do, or may want to do this morning. She also wanted to try going live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the big announcement is your next video coming up. Yeah. Right? We've been holding on to that. Yeah. Right. You want to tell the folks? You want me to tell uh, the folks? I think it's up to you. Don't say up to me. Either it's a yes or no question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the standard reply, by the way. For those of you coming out to be with your delightful and delicious Filipina, is the answer to everything, basically, yeah, is, like is either up to you or later. <laughs> yeah, I like the part of the letter. <laughs> and so let's go to some comments. Here. Yes, Anne is uh, good. I'm glad to tell you, I'm happy to tell you that she was sitting up and smiling. And yeah. it's just she had the surgery. They were able to successfully take care of the issue that she was in tremendous pain and felt awful for her. And we actually tried to get down there the night that she went, but it was raining cats and dogs. And my daily looking little scooter just can't make it. I just can't make it. Speaking of rain and gay scooters, we've been caught twice. Yeah, twice. Right. Last time, last two times we've been coming home, we've been soaked to the bone. And it's it's fine. <laughs> we just get home and we change. But it's just it makes driving very, very difficult, you know, because I wear glasses, so off on the glasses. And so I just super slow down. And May hangs on extra tight, and we managed to make it. We <laughs> have tequila down there. No, you I want to tell the tequila story. No, <laughs> no. I want to show the tequila pictures. Do you have? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and the video. I got it all. <laughs> Good morning, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, happy freaking fiesta. No one's allowed into Valencia. Yeah. Uh, they shut fiesta. down the coffee group. We were going to meet some folks. Uh, we were going to meet Paul, Paul's Asian Adventure over there. And uh, we ended up meeting. We did it. Paul and I did get together and uh, at Nasbury. But um, I just got to. We were going to go to. You don't know this yet. I just talked to Joe. Uh, Valencia Plaza is closed today. I didn't know. Yeah, I know you don't know. I didn't know that. Now you do know. So we were going to go shopping there because you need vegetables or something like yeah. that. Yeah, hit the thumbs up for yeah, Betty May, boys you. and girls. There's only 36 people watching. That's easy to manage. But we need 36 girls. We need not girls. Thumbs up. My girl does that for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm confident um, that... Um, if anything happened to me, um, Baby May would hang in there till the bitter end. I really, really sincerely feel that in my heart. You know, I know that women leave you 
The only time women have loved me was when I lived in America. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Eddie Van Halen's gone. <laughs> I knew Valerie Bertinelli for a little bit. A little, little, little side note. That much, but I met her a couple of times. Nice. Prayers going out to Anne. Good. Yeah. Let's give Anne some Thank prayers. You. Hope it continues to go. Yeah, she is. Uh, she is good. We were going to take her some food and stuff, but she already got that dialed in. Um, somebody else stepped up and was able to get a neighbor woman over where she used to live. Yeah, yeah. Went down and is sitting with her. And trying to get into the hospital, they said no guests. Yeah, no visitors. No visitors. And I'm like, well, you know, how am I supposed to pay for this? Because we're handling the balance. We've got uh, we've got some some folks. Anyway, the uh, I don't know what that I should go into. But anyway, we're we're going to be helping. And we went down and we saw her and took a picture of her and. Uh, and so, because I knew she'd want to do a video about this, so I took a picture so she could make a yeah. mark. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Dario. This is one of those. Um, um, May said to me, "Hey, I want to do a live stream," yeah. <laughs> which means I'm doing a live stream. Because today is Sunday. <laughs> on Monday, for those who are interested, on my little channel, even though I'm not doing videos anymore. Or, um, Rike is going to be on with me at 10 o'clock. So be sure to tune in for that. Jeannie Blogger. Let me see. Let me click it for you. Good morning, Jeannie. Happy Sunday, soon. You like your hair off. You like your little <laughs> bunny ears. That you that the four can you remember before? You uh -huh. hoping? Uh -huh. Yeah. I brought you bunny ears from Vietnam. Do you remember? Yeah, but it's broken. I know it's broke, but yeah. I'm just saying. And in the necklace, it's broke too. And I brought her a necklace and it broke. And I bought some sunglasses and glasses. And they yeah, broke. broke too. Yeah, so, you know, Vietnamese quality. That's what it is. No wonder everything's so freaking cheap over there. But it's very cheap. <laughs> like China. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, where you at, Bruce? Oh, good, buddy. You're making a YouTube channel finally. That's what yeah. we need. We need some uh, Mexico vlogs, baby. Yeah. yeah. I like to live stream just because it's a chance to talk to people. And it takes questions sometimes because I'm really stupid when it comes to the comments. I get really lazy and I'm just like, oh God, I don't want to I don't want to be on the computer. So that's my uh, that's my new uh, New Year's resolution on my new on my new channel, not really new, but my old channel revamp. I'm gonna I'm just gonna dedicate, I'm gonna do a video and I'm not gonna do another video until I read comments. Uh, there's a good question. How's the eye healing? Slowly. Yeah. Really slowly. It's getting better, but yeah. it's really healing slow. And I was going to go to an eye clinic yesterday. The eye is fine. Um, I mean, I can see and there's no blurriness or anything, but it's this dark. Well, well I'm on the wrong side. The side's wrong. Right. There? Yeah. I can't see. From the, this is reversed. But anyway, I got a big dark circle under here, and I, maybe it's just because I'm old, you know, and things aren't aren't uh, healing as fast. I noticed that when I have a cut, when I was younger, a cut would go away in three days. Here it goes away in a week. So I don't know, but I don't know if I could have this thing drained or what. I'm pretty sure that a blood vessel broke in my eye. I had an allergic reaction to soap of all things, and. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the, a blood vessel broke because there's a lot of blood under my eye. Yeah, hi, Martin. Martin, you guys are so nice. They named me twice. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a really good question. You know what's funny is I was thinking about a bike for myself. Um, actually, there's this really cute little bike that I saw across the street from the dentist office that I was going to buy for baby name for Christmas. And um, but I was thinking that bike riding would be fun. But um, a little bit I'm getting away. I'm talking about myself instead of answering your question. Okay, there are a lot of um, locals that ride bikes with the, with the whole bike gear, all right, and the spandex and all that stuff. God, can you imagine being spandex? Anyway, um, so they do that, but they're really terrible at it because they don't drive single file. They'll do three across. So you're coming along in a car or on your bike, and you're getting ready to take one out. <clears throat> so they have not figured out the rules of the road. There are a lot of people walking early in the morning, mostly locals. Exercise is really big out here. Um, they play volleyball, they walk down at the boulevard. Um, but for foreigners, I don't see very many of them now that my mind's eye is trying to envision it. Uh, I don't see a lot of um, I don't see a lot of guys on bikes. There's a few guys that you know are into mountain bikes and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so the answer is yes and no. There's a ton of locals that ride bikes, walk, exercise, and all that happy stuff. But there's very few foreigners that see them. Go hello from Montreal. So we take it so long. Talk a lot of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the wishes, man. And uh, best wishes to Anne, yeah. But you know what the cool thing is, is that she got in, she was in pain. Um, Got a, an ambulance ride. Don't annoy me with that chicken. I'll take that freaking chicken and throw it across the room. I swear to God. Yeah, there are a lot of bike riders, <laughs> but man, they are the worst. They just like they just like five in a row. You know, they pick up half the route of the road. <laughs> mm. All is good, Rick. I would like to get into a doctor tomorrow, though, and have my eye checked out to see what the frick is going on. And uh, again, I'm looking forward. We've been trying and trying and trying and trying to go out and find locations to do some photo shoots for our, for our channels. And um, every day we get shut down. So I was hoping to make the channel um, back on track the middle of this month. But it looks like uh, it's going to be November. It looks like the entire month of October, the old dogs are going to be horning in on my baby man. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we are happy. We are happy campers. I don't think baby man and I, well, we've had, we've had our bad days, right? We've had our bad weeks. Remember when I got married? <laughs> <laughs> Being with you, good morning. I'm doing all the talking here. This is your live stream. Right? Yeah. So you need to pipe up a little. I think there's another call. What? <laughs> you want to try Don't you? That chicken's a quill. You're throwing that chicken in my face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we actually, we didn't do anything. <laughs> we just went down and saw her. And, um, and then we're arranging for the payment. We're not making the payment, but we're helping her get the balance of the bill paid. And uh, that's that's coming from other people, but um, or another person rather. But um, it's a drag when you're in the hospital and you're all by yourself and you're all alone. And the hospitals out here are funky, you know? So I was actually, I told May we should do a video for her channel. And May was creeped out by the whole thing. May does not like hospitals, and yeah. she does not like um, funeral homes or yeah. graveyards, or dead people or sick people. She's just got a real thing about it, you know. And uh, she just couldn't get out of there fast enough. No disrespect to Han, but um, 
she didn't like it. And uh, she didn't even go to her own brother in law's funeral because she just doesn't like she doesn't like funeral parlors or weird about it. Like, well, hey, Robert, how's it down there in FLA? Good morning. Yes, self quarantine. I do well under quarantine. You know what we did yesterday? We fell asleep. We went to take a nap. Yeah. And because uh, it started raining, you know, we were out in Dumaguete and we went down and we had a cup of coffee, as usual. And then we uh, went and saw Ann. And then we, would, we saw rain clouds. So we, oh, we picked up our laundry. That was yeah. a big, big item. <laughs> And we humped that back up the hill in pouring rain. And so we came home, changed our clothes, we watched a little TV, um, and then I said, you know what, let's just conk out for a while, what do you say? And makes it sure. So I fell asleep at 3 o'clock, right? Yeah, 3 o'clock. And I woke up, are you ready for this? At 10.30 at night last night. And I slept seven and a half hours. And you went to sleep at five, right? Yeah. And you slept till eleven, I think. And then we both got up and jiggy jacked around until about one o'clock this morning. And then we went back to sleep. And um, that's kind of the cool thing. Um, what I've noticed different out here, just thinking about it this morning, is I dream a lot more out here than I did in the States. And I sure as hell sleep a lot more. Um, and it's nice just to kind of like have a day where you're staying home and lay down and there's, there's nothing on TV. I never get anything out of TV. Um, and I just kind of conk out. And I like it. I think it's good for the, the brain, the body, and everything else. How much is the balance? I think the balance is going to be about uh, 30 or 40K. 600 bucks, 700 bucks, something like that. To, I think you're referring to hand. I think that's the number. Uh oh, I'm gonna let you handle this. <laughs> let me read this out loud, okay? I'm gonna read it out loud. I'm gonna read it really slow. Paul, let Baby May speak. That's what I want you to do. Her English is better than yours. No. I love Baby May. <laughs> That's a joke. Thousand kisses for her and one for me. <laughs> that is funny. I agree with him a thousand percent. You need to be doing all the talking. Thank you, Jane Cloud, <laughs> for watching. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Hey, you two, I'm looking for a couple to adopt me. <laughs> that don't mean I'm only 51 fully house trained. I come with a pension and check. I don't hardly. <laughs> All right, buddy. Come on. Get the papers ready. We'll get the lawyer to sign it. We'll, we'll adopt you. Uh, buddy Gloria got a package from Ireland of all things. And they were running around distributing goods to needy people. I have not seen, but Bud and I were supposed to do a split screen live stream like this, and that never happened. And I haven't seen Bud. Um, but Bud and I have this unique, deep friendship. We are I'm probably more connected to him than anybody else out here, to be honest. He has a great sense of humor. And uh He's super funny when you get him alone. And um, uh, Gloria, of course, is really funny too. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, what Bud and I do is once a month, it's not planned, but it just sort of works out. Every 30 days or so, Bud will send me a text or I'll send him one. He doesn't use Facebook. And so we, we talk via phone text and we'll say, hey, let's get together and have some coffee. And, and we agree on a place to meet. And for 15 minutes, we explain, exchange pleasantries. You know, how's the wife? How's the kids? What's going on with the dog? Blah, blah, blah. And then for like two hours, we gossip like schoolgirls. 
<laughs> and we just cry uh, about people, places, things. <laughs> Panorama City, that's where I grew up. I was actually born in Kaiser Hospital, on, I think on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, I lived until I was 10 years old on Clearfield Avenue in Panorama City. You want to drive by Clearfield to see my little house. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Ron, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I got a feeling if I was in the hospital, maybe maybe would come and hang with me. I think she would uh, make the exception. I could be wrong. The churches are open. Everything's open. Yeah, every, I think every Sunday. Everything's open. It's like nothing happened out here. There's some checkpoints right now, but they're just checking for helmets and, and registrations. And, uh, um, <laughs> but no COVID stuff. There's just, um, you know, they take your temperature. They just, now they just click. They just go like this. They just go boom, boom, boom. They just click you. They just go in. They don't, they're not paying attention. They're just going through the motions. And uh, they ask me to sign in on a book. Everybody, everybody signs in like Barney Rubble, you know, or uh, uh, Nick the Greek. What happens during fiestas? Well, basically, fiestas, my understanding is a fiesta is held each year, each parade day has yeah. a fiesta. And it's I, I, if I think I'm right, I may be wrong, because I've asked a hundred people, what's the purpose of the fiesta? I've been asking that for over three years. Pretty much to celebrate the uh, birthday of the Barangay, if you will, uh, the day that became the Barangay. And what it means is people gather, uh, they make food, and the men drink until they can't stand up anymore. And the women sit in the corner and talk about all the other women in the neighborhood. And that's pretty much a fiesta. Now, sometimes if it's a big, big fiesta, like for Jumagetti, not just a merengue, but for Valencia, Valencia should have a whole bunch of parades and stuff going on right now. Um, and school kids marching and, and decorations up and all that's not happening. So, but that's what a fiesta is. The reason to drink <laughs> and eat. And the events, they have, um, forget the name of the big one. There's a big one for Dumaguete. And um, it's down there by Freedom Park. And I would rather take a beating to go to that event again. It's just a zillion people wandering around. Same food, same stuff. Sometimes. They have a uh, hula cone or something like that. What's it called? Yeah, uh, they have a buckle. No, it's not. No, no, I'm talking about the fiesta. Yeah. Sleep there with me. I don't know what that means. Okay. What else can I talk about? Thank you for watching, watching 64 people. So hard. Why? It's so hard to make it. Why is this hard? Because of. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. So, what's going on is May's um, channel is. Still going to be cooking and adventures, but I'm going to be involved in it with it. And so, like this, there's a lot of stuff that May wants to communicate to people, but because of her English, yeah. uh, she understands perfectly fine. She knows what's going on, but being able to speak it is very difficult for her. Yeah. And just like me, I'm not good at language, so I can't speak her language one iota. She does a thousand percent better than I'll ever do. But, um, so I got a lot of respect for that. But um, so what we're going to be doing is she's got. I don't want to do all the usual interviews 
stuff and everything on my channel anymore. Um, I mean, there'll be the there'll be a, the occasional guest that comes on, but um, but she likes having she has all these interesting people that she knows. So what we're going to start doing is we're kind of integrating my old channel into her channel, and then with her channel, we're going to be trying to do some more. Uh, explanations just by me. I'm just going to be like the mouthpiece of letting you know what she's doing. Maybe a little behind the camera stuff and uh, maybe a little in front of the camera stuff. But we're really looking hard for uh, people to subscribe to her channel and like and share. Okay? Uh, Baby May is picking in adventures and it means a lot to her. And it's the, the whole purpose behind her channel is um, number one, she wants to do her thing, and number two, we need an income stream. And so, when I go to the happy hunting ground, um, I want to make sure I leave her off better than I found her. And so, we're making preparations to try to buy her some land. Uh, she's saving all of her money that she gets for that. Um, but she did say she was going to take some money and take me to um, a uh, resorts yeah, yeah, life. I would like to pray to the Nippon because I would like to thank you for your help me on it. Think what do you know? If that's from the Filipino very often, I'm gonna treat you to a, <laughs> to a resort for a visa for a visa of the name of the Nippon resort. Uh, for a visa, I think. Yeah, I would like to visit the Nippon for free. Well, I get to go for free. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's drinking and freaking gossiping, you know, and it's yeah. just an excuse not to. And what's what? Why they do it? I think is so they can have an excuse not to go to work. So, all right, everybody just shuts down, and they sit down and they focus really hard on the red horse, <laughs> and they focus really hard on the food, and then boy, the women just light it up, you know, talking about this one man. Gossip. It's like a national sport. <laughs> where does May want to travel to? Okay, May, where do you want to go? I would like in Palawan only. That's right. Yeah, I hope go. someday. We're going to go there as soon as they open this bad boy up. Yeah, I would like to be there. Uh, well, of course you're going to go with me. You're going to go with, unless you want to go with Jean Claude. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Just only with you. Oh, Goldfinger. Is there anybody Goldfinger? Come on, Daddy L. First time I see the picture. Me the too. Gold finger. No Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I had those. Here's the dynamic. I mean, you can't come in here, right? I mean, no getting in. You can't even come in from another island. You can't even come from Cebu or Manila. Under certain special circumstances, you can, but you know, no foreigners coming in from anywhere. The guys can leave, and they are. So guess what? There's a white flight <laughs> from uh, from Little Dunedin here, and all other all other islands. And so, as far as buying land, I'm really ignorant uh, to prices. I really don't know what's a good deal or not. But I know what a good deal is on an apartment. And I just spoke with a guy, I spoke with two guys whose rents got lower just to keep them in there. And um, there's no new there's no new people coming in. And there's new buildings going up that got started a year ago, two years ago, whatever. And so, um, minute a guy leaves, let's say I left tomorrow, there's no one to take my place. There's no foreigner to take my place. Yeah, Ricky wants to go to the resort. <laughs> Nothing, man. Nothing. We get that question a lot. Um, we're actually just waiting for inner island travel to open. And I'll make a prediction on that. I've made this prediction on every live stream. 
that I think December is the magical month for Davy May and I to be able to uh, go to Palawan, um, the hall, Ecuador, because the simple reason that um, the economy here is crashing hard, number one. And number two, it's Christmas time. And there's, there's people stranded on islands that need to go see their kids. They need to get home. And it's Christmas, for crying out loud. So let them go. And as long as they don't come up with a bunch of expensive tests and crap that people need to go through. Um, I told May, and she's cool with whatever we decide. Um, but I'm not going through all this, you know, testing. I'll, I mean, I'll, maybe I'll take a test. But um, I'm not going to go through any quarantine deal or anything like that. So coming out here um, from wherever you are, I would imagine once, my guess would be once Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, the rest of them start to open up, uh, the Philippines is a great follower. They're not big leaders in anything, but they tend to follow. And uh, if a vaccine was to become made available, I'm sure they'd jump all over that and they need to open it up. Thank you. Martin Martin, he was dancing and eating. Yeah, dancing and eating. You know, it's remarkable is uh, when we talk about uh, drinking at these, at these things, is I can't dance and I can't sing. Those are, you know, two big regrets. But um, after I've had three or four big bottles of Red Horse, I'm a great dancer. <laughs> Temecula, what's going on? It's a nice part of California. Mm -hmm. Portland, Oregon. Is it still psycho out there with the with the Antifa thing? Where would May like to get her first stamp on her passport? Well, May, they're asking me where would you like to go first when you can travel to another country. What country would you like to go to? Mm -hmm. You don't know. Yeah, because my pick is only Palawan. Okay. Yeah. The key to um, international travel for her on a passport is to get past the first one. And they have a, uh, what do they call it, offloading, where we can book a trip to, uh, I don't know, pick a spot, Vietnam. And, um, Book the room, buy the flights, do the whole thing, and get up to immigration. And they just say, no, she's not going. Uh, they think she's being trafficked or sold, or she's going to go to work in Vietnam or something. What I have heard is that Singapore is a real the easiest place to get her from here to, to there. And the good news is that she's got a couple of things that she can show that she's sort of rooted in the, in the community. She's got a bank account, that's important. She's got more than one form of ID. And I would make sure that she's got like 10 or 20,000 pesos in her purse or in her wallet. And I think they ask, if she's traveling with me, uh, they may ask me to like guarantee it, you know, like a co-signer, that she'll, I'll, I'll be responsible for her, which I'd be happy to do, of course. But we would also have pictures, and, and she's got a YouTube channel, and I have a YouTube channel. So, I mean, I can make a really solid argument at, at immigration. She would fold like a, uh, like a deck of cards the minute they ask her a question, because whenever she gets nervous, or she shakes, you know. <laughs> her arms are like this. You know? Lego and she's like ready to pass out, and the pressure is on. So that's when I uh, I have to step in. <laughs> but if they separate, it's got to help her. You yeah. know, I know she's going to be jello. Yeah. Like the smoke. 
like the stroke. <laughs> Immigration. <laughs> yeah, when's your next when are you gonna bake a cake? Uh, I think tomorrow, tomorrow? I try again. Okay, well we got a new a new cake mix. Uh, yeah. I think if if my subscriber subscriber is getting four thousand, I pick it up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That is my plan. Yeah. I hope someday. You need another one hundred and fifty subscribers, mm -hmm. and then you've got four thousand. So we'll celebrate uh, with the cake. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. And from Queens, there oh. you are. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, you have to answer my question. You said I blocked you, Edge Schwartz. But I didn't block you. That is my channel. I think your channel. No. But then, then it had to have been a moderator. Ah. I can't. I can't do it. So it had to have been a moderator. Anyway, top of the morning to you, Eddie. Yeah. Thank you, Ed, for Thanks. watching. Thanks for always hanging in there with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. That would be like pulling teeth, though, man. Can you imagine trying to get. <laughs> Anybody into the stage right now? Just, uh, I think there's, you know, I'm, I, again, I'm really ignorant when it comes to this stuff, but I almost think you have to be like on uh, a fiance visa thing and go through all kinds of hoops and everything. So I wish it was easy. I would love to take baby May to the stage. I wish. And the two of her around. I was thinking about renting a big ass Cadillac. You know? My dream is no. And uh, it's no, it's not just yeah. you know, a flat by eight minutes. And when I was thinking about getting a big convertible white Cadillac, you know, and having me, 65 years old, and having me sitting right next to me, hauling into Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the great white shark. <laughs> No national travel if you're 60 plus. Yeah, see, it's I, I said it a thousand times. You gotta put on your patient hat and just be willing to dig in wherever you are, buddy. And uh, and I've got it out. Time is time is it's this too shall pass. I guess is the only thing I can I can say about this whole enchilada. Everything's okay. Yeah, right on. Good, good. So in Fort Worth, Texas, they're acting like normal people. That's great. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got. I love this. Just <laughs> <laughs> love you. I love this guy. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Come to Paris with me and bring Paul. We need a driver. That is awesome. I love this guy. Yeah. This guy has my sense of yeah. humor. You it's know? very funny. Yeah. Because I always say to women when they're having a hard time, I go, come to daddy. You know, like, let me fix that for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, more people for Jesus. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> uh, okay, Ed's talking to Ron. That's good. Uh, I can swim. Baby May can not swim. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the first baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, you know, follow the money, boys and girls. I've had people say after the election. So I don't know. Yeah, I, everybody's an expert, nobody knows nothing. No, it's easy to dance. All yeah. you gotta do is just get drunk off your ass. That is what's very good for that thing to eat. Very so bad. Next time I get the video for the thing. <laughs> oh my god. Totally psycho. I don't know what that means. Well, I can't eat. Oh, the medicines are really strong. Well, Anne, hang in there, girlfriend. Uh, they're giving you some pain meds, and they're giving you some really strong um, um, uh, bah, bah, antibiotics. <laughs> I know you have like four or five things tripping into your arm, God bless you. 
Oh, you know what? Downtown Portland. That's what it was. I couldn't remember. I didn't put two and two together because I'm old and feeble. But thank you very much for that, Candy. Yeah, it looks like a war zone down there. That should never have allowed to happen. That's, that's such bullshit. Sorry for my language. But that should never, ever happen in America. It shouldn't happen anywhere, to be honest with you. Where people just go and light stuff on fire. I mean, really? You know, people have worked all their lives, hardworking people. They built their little business. They finally got their 7 Eleven franchise. Um, and, or they, 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 they've got their whatever they do their coffee shop, their restaurant, they work hard, they invest money. And um, the friggin' politicians right now, I don't want to get politically, but I'll go off a little bit. They need to shut up, get together. And send them some money. They need to send the businesses some freaking money and some unemployment checks and some stimulus checks. That's what they need to do. These mutts that, you know, go on vacation once a month for a week and a half and fly everywhere, these so called politicians. Both sides of the aisle, they're all a bunch of mutts. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what they, they they're, they're griping about money for this and money for that. And what needs to happen is they need to toss some money into some people's pockets right now. Not necessarily mine, but yours in America, in the States. Whether you're working, not working, that you've got kids, you've gone through all this mortgage stuff, <clears throat> you've been laid off, fired, sick. Um, you got to do this, you know, you, your kids are home with you all day. They need to shut up and send out money. They need to give a thousand bucks per kid and uh, 1200 or 1500 per adult. And if you're on unemployment, they need to extend it. And if you are owner of a business, give you a friggin' loan for that, that's forgivable for a grant. And let's just try to stay at home. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> hey, Don, what's going on? That annoys me, though. I see people rioting in the streets and just running a muck, you know? And uh, uh, it's just a bunch of friggin' teenagers uh, and young people that have no respect. I'm going to go on it. <laughs> it's all good stuff, man. Well, turn off the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody's hearing us okay. I had problems on my channel, I guess. Back away. Got all of it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should be aware that that's all here. See you later, buddy. Thank you, Lord Goldfinger. Not while I'm here, but um, yeah. Right, she wants to know yeah. if you can show how you can prepare sardines, dried fish, to eat with rice for a meal. I think yeah. that's, a fair, that's a fair question. I'll just leave the afternoon. That's something I didn't want to mm -hmm. be aware of. See if I get weird here. Wow, you have 83 people watching. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. Paul, well, leading is still going on. It's not on the news, but there are people who. Unbelievable. I'm not going to talk anymore about it. Candy. We love candy. Candy. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, I do not know how I can get rid of my stuff. Well, I'll take it to Portland, Oregon. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Set it out the front yard. <laughs> They'll take care of it for you. <laughs> no politics. Well, I try not to do politics, but when it's come up with with something like looting and rioting and all that, I, you know, I'm going to speak my mind. Um, and I just think they should send money out. That's all. I'm not taking a side. I'm just saying both sides need to get together and send people some friggin' money because they know they're hurt. Can I teach me to swim? Don't tell John Claude he'll get jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Jim. <laughs> Well, thank you for subscribing, Jeff. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that very much. Yes. The good news is there's good news. Yeah. yeah, I'm just tired of it. You know what? I, I, I shouldn't get into it. He's right. I, I'm not a political junkie or any of that kind of stuff. But I just get fed up with the fact that the, the people that put them in office need some money. Forget all your other stuff. Forget all your cities and your pet projects and all that. I'm talking about some money. And I'm talking about giving some money to you guys. They need it right now. Yeah, I dumped everything. I came here with a suitcase and a backpack. Yeah, that's that's true. They opened up a can of worms. That'll irate, didn't they? <laughs> okay, Daryl, see you later, man. We won't be on much longer. We'll give this uh, an hour. Good morning, Paul. May I subscribe to your channel now? Thanks. What happened to your friend Ann? Ann got a cyst that just, like, appeared. And so it was really painful. They had to do some surgery. And um, she's fine. She's recovering. Yeah. We just got her all doped up. And we went and saw her yesterday. And um, we're going to get some information today. Uh, we wanted to just make sure when we went down there, because in the hospitals, they don't, it's not like in the States where they bring you three squares a day. You have to buy your own food. And then if you need medication, um, you have to send somebody to the pharmacy to buy it for you. It's crazy. And so that's kind of why we went down there. We wanted to see, do we need to go to the pharmacy for you? Do we need to bring you some Jolly Bee or whatever it is you want to eat? And she had already been squared away by one of her neighbors, her ex neighbors and taking care of it. Let's see. We're going to do seven more minutes, okay? Yeah. Let's I have a Filipino girlfriend I want to meet, maybe stay with in San Jose. I want to be tired of all these. Yeah. Yeah. When I came out here, meeting a girl wasn't on my was the top of priority for me. I just wanted to stop working. <laughs> I just didn't want to show up anymore. Well, the business collect and sales tape every day, and it's beginning to be ridiculous. I agree with you, Ed. I should never have taken this in, a, in that direction. I just cut this off. <laughs> So if you're pissed off at me for politics, unsubscribe from my channel. Old dog new trick. Thank you, William. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Ed, if you want to get rid of your stuff, just take it, uh, have a rider truck, take it down to Portland. <laughs> I just kind of watch the highlights of all that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, she is live. I just realized that. So we'll be we'll be you don't want to hone in on that. Actually, this is May's last minute idea. Mm, yeah, actually, May can battle around a little bit. Um, yeah. She's just, uh, she's just, um, we don't get the pool ever. I don't know why. We got this nice, beautiful pool, and we just don't get in it for some reason. I don't know. So, I think we miss some people here. Man, we ain't got to be going to All right, right, right on. Oh, Adonella, good morning. Thank you for watching. That is my friend. Working in Singapore. Oh, is she working in Singapore? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. OFW. OFW. You gotta have a lot of uh you gotta have a lot of tenacity to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, Jim. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. So we'll wrap it up, baby man. We will call it a day. Yeah, but bunch is closed. Ah, uh, only public. Public market is open. Valencia Plaza is closed. Yeah. But in the public, still open. Okay. We will go out. Okay. And then we got to go search, um, what do you call it, locations. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and we'll blog that. All right, we're cooking, we're, we're bugging out in three minutes. So we want to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for coming on, um, coming on the uh, non scheduled, <laughs> mm -hmm. the non scheduled live stream. Yeah. But baby may want to give it a try. And we are going to go in a new direction here. I'd love for, I just love to see the reaction of her. In, uh, so. Well, hi, Charles. Thank you very Good much. Why? That's why we do these things. We like to chit chat back and forth with folks. I should not go off on my tirades, but every now and then I lose my mind. <laughs> You're welcome, James. Thanks for tuning in with us. We will see you cat crazy people later. And the chicken wants to say goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. And Baby May wants to say goodbye. I want to say goodbye. And we will talk to you later. And make sure that you tune in to the Baby May Big Adventure Show. Um, we're releasing the video on tomorrow night, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. And then later have people And then what? Let's be uh, for your interview. Oh, okay. All right. You don't want to give away the secrets, baby. You just want to say you got a video coming. Oh. Hey, David, we'd love you back. Okay, we got three minutes. So we're going to say goodbye. Martin's so nice. They gave me flights. Let's see. All right. Well, have a good day, Robert. And we are signing off. And thanks for coming along. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.